to Chiang Mai. It is 9.15 in the morning and I'm getting ready to start my day. I need to put on some sunscreen. I'm really trying to be better about using this stuff. So basically, I am in Chiang Mai for the weekend. And it is about an hour flight from Bangkok. So I took a domestic flight last night, which was super easy. It was honestly like the easiest airport experience I think I've ever had. It was a little tiny plane, a little domestic flight, but I have to say like it definitely has to be better than any spirit frontier flight I've ever taken. So Thai Airlines really haven't figured out, I guess. So yeah, I'm in this hotel for the weekend. It's my first time kind of getting away from my uncle's place in Bangkok. So it's kind of my own little adventure. I am going to see a manufacturer this morning for a ride, which is really exciting. I kind of knew this whole time that when I would come to Thailand that I wanted to come to Chiang Mai and visit this manufacturer. And I already visited one in Bangkok a few weeks ago and it actually went really well. But I think like while I'm here, I just want to kind of explore all my options, see kind of what the difference is in manufacturing in a big city versus a smaller city where I'm hoping to have some of my pieces like handmade by local artisans in the future. I'm doing my makeup as well because afterwards I'm actually going um, to a elephant cafe farm um, and I'm shooting there for the rest of the afternoon and I'm really excited because I have not seen elephants I guess like since I was in Thailand last when I was in high school so that's kind of what I'm doing today is going to this like elephant cafe farm and like taking some photos of them um, and playing with them so I'm really excited my skin has been breaking out a little bit because I've I had so much work recently and they always have to do my makeup at every single shoot and I don't really know I guess how good some of the makeup artists like clean their brushes and I don't really know what the standard is here for that even regardless of that I don't like wearing heavy makeup all the time and I've just really been in full glam every day which not been the best for my skin I don't know if you can tell as well like from some of my previous videos but I definitely have gotten a lot more pale over the last few weeks which I guess is a good thing right that's what I was kind of hoping to accomplish so that I could work a little bit more um, in Asia in Thailand and it's just funny to see myself like this because I've been so tan the past few months in LA. This is definitely the most pale I've been in a long time, but I'm kind of just embracing it. Like I think when I'm in LA and I'm constantly around like other tan people and like we're always in the sun, it makes me feel a little bit sickly when I'm this pale. But when I'm here, that's kind of like the beauty standard. Every other girl around me is very fair and has porcelain skin so I'm just embracing it you know I think it's gonna be my look for the time being sometimes Ella my best friend from home she'll literally say she doesn't recognize me like when we're on FaceTime because I look so pasty it makes me wonder like if I lived here long term would I just permanently look like this I don't know anyways I'll take you guys along with me today I need to charge my camera before I leave, but it should be a really fun day, so I'm excited. How are you feeling right now, Summer? I'm feeling great. 
Ya. <laughs> video, 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 video. This is day 500 of the uh, summer martial logs. We're out here at the temples. Uh, we're in we're in Chiang Mai. We got D Mock Debbie right here. Yeah. And D Mock uh, Debbie. Debbie. And we are currently crossing the river. It is a lovely day. The birds are singing, the flowers are out, the temples are templing, and um, we're out here. We're having a we're having a, a a blast. How do you feel in five words right now? Um, I feel great. Um, I feel happy. Okay. A little bit sweaty. A little sweaty. Um, what else? I can't think of other words. A little confused. Confused. On where we're going. Uh huh. Um, and lastly. I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first from Summer Marshall out here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the oh man. That is the fifth guy to break their neck at summer over here. We're out here shooting. They're breaking necks left and right just to get a glance. We're out here at the market. I think you put it a little lower. <laughs> We're here right now with Slumdog Millionaire. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah? Three words right now. Hot. <laughs> Floral. Sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> We're here right now on the No Stress Express. You got anything to say back there, ladies? Debbie? <laughs> yeah? Debbie? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Hmm? What do you have to say? say? How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah, yeah three words. D mock mock. D mock mock. D mock mock. There you go. You heard it here first, ladies. <laughs> very good. What does that mean exactly? It means very, very good. Oh. Okay, so it is day two. It's really hot. I'm so sweaty. And it's like 5 p.m. now. I just went to this fabric market trying to look for some canvas material. Um, and it was kind of a disaster. It's really hard with the language barrier to get my point across that I'm trying to find sustainable material. So it's just frustrating. I felt like I was walking all around trying to find someone that could understand what I was saying, but not that productive of a trip. I did get some boba tea and look at these beautiful flowers that I shot with today. It was a really fun day. I feel like I was able to see the whole city, which was really nice. Um, and then yesterday we obviously shot with the elephants, which was so cute. It was definitely one of the most memorable experiences I've had here in Thailand so far. But I shoot tomorrow morning a little bit and then I'm hoping to find some more fabric. So I'm hoping I can have a translator come with me tomorrow so I can get that done. But my flight is in the evening. So I feel like I've just been on the go non-stop for an entire week. I was working all week in Bangkok, then just flew here and I've been working non-stop. So I just need a break. I just need like a few days off where I can get my life back together. But yeah, I'm so tired. I need to take a nap. Maybe I'll go get some dinner in a little bit. But overall, Chiang Mai has been so cute. It's definitely more of a local feel compared to Bangkok and apparently they have amazing coffee here in Chiang Mai so I've been trying some different cafes and things but 
I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take a nap and then I'll show you guys my last day tomorrow. Yes. How do you feel about day three? I feel, um, you know, I'm tired, but uh, I'm charged up, charged up on the inside. Um, I feel, uh, there, there were ants in my pants at one point today, which was slightly uh, uncomfortable. Uh, it's bound to happen though, you know? Yeah, that's what happens in the jungle. I mean, you know, sometimes you get ants in your pants, sometimes you get, you know, spiders in your hair. and. All sorts of things, but make <laughs> the best of it. This is so pretty. Right? Oh, look at this.